people on the earth watching this. Uh, today we're gonna tie a caddis pattern uh, with a nice wing material called golden web wing. So this is like a golden web wing caddis. Uh, and of course, drink some coffee. And we're also gonna have some alpaca chino dab, rusty brown deer hair, some ostrich, yeah, and that's about it. So, let's go. So, let's begin. The hook for this fly is a barbless hook from Oryx. It's actually called Freshwater 531. Size 10 FW and I use just an ordinary brown thread. It doesn't matter which, which dimension since it's a pretty big fly. And to start with, I'm gonna rib this back body with uh, some golden ostrich hair. So that's the first material I tie in, like that. And then for the body, I will use a material from uh, Alpaca. This, oh, we have this in my shop. It's called Alpaca Chino. This is the brown color. The nice thing with this dub is that it has like a little bit of trapped air in the body. So, I tie, I dub like two thirds of the body, and then I just rip this like even terms. If you have some other color, it's also nice, but I like this color. And then I just do like this, just to get out some of the fibers. Which is nice. And for the underwing of this fly, I use a CDC. This is called Feather Master CDC 1 grams large select natural dark gray cocky and which is a nice color you won't see it anyway so I tie it in like that just so it passes the hook band really doesn't matter depends how long you want your wing you can also take three feathers if they're a little bit thinner in the fibers but I will only take two I think it's enough this was uh, this fly will uh, fish this like uh, uh, free drifting on the water uh, well this is the wing material it's like a synthetic uh, thin material a little bit of golden in it so it's pretty nice and I use a scissor to just cut out the wings So just cut out like a square rectangle like this and I bend it so you get like a roof and then you can just cut it the way you want it. 
hopefully shape like a caddy swing. You were when you're happy with the shape, it will most likely look like a heart. And then you measure it in and just tie it in. Perfecto. <coughs> great, great success. And then you make a dubbing loop. This is for the deer hair. So just make a dubbing loop and then you just put it aside. <clears throat> and then you take the alpacachino alpa dub again. And here you don't want to, du uh, to dub the thorax or the head to like tight because you want to brush out some of the fibers so you want it a little bit fluffy hmm, something like that and then you need now for the deer hair you need some kind of uh, clip this is magic tool that will be enough and you won't be needing to take too much of the deer hair just a little pinch this is probably like 62 strands of deer hair uh, and you don't need to have the full length uh, it depends how long you want the legs and stuff because this is gonna be like the legs of the fly so I just cut off couple of millimeters maybe some more and then you put it in this one you really actually don't need this one because you can put it in the dubbing loop directly if you want to but I think it's nice because then you can get it out a little bit Divide them to dubbing loop. The suspense is real. Like that. And then you just twist it. back a bit so many of you may be like oh this looks weird and it does but we're not done yet so like that and you just will finish this cut it and then Time to make the magic happen. Just use a dubbing brush. And you brush it up and then stroke the fibers back. And up so you don't have like so much fibers on the underside. You want on the sides. And up. Well how about that? The golden wing caddies. Pretty nice, huh? Tie like at least five of them. They could be nice to have. 
We also have different uh, colors of the webwing material, so you can find it in the shop or somewhere else. So, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and if you want to share it, it's totally okay with me. I would appreciate it. Thanks and goodbye.